What's good with your social media? This is your boy Nick Love and the K9 Proceeds. I've been hearing people trying to figure out how can you actually get a good dog from a, from a great breeder. I'm going to give you a little tip on what you should do whenever you reach out to a breeder to get the type of dog you want. Stay tuned. If you want to get a puppy and you want to get it from a specific breeder, you never reach out to that breeder and tell them what you're looking for. Instead, you ask them what they got available. Girl, eat mama. I say this because if you call a breeder and tell them what you're looking for, 100% of the time, they're going to always have that exact dog you're looking for, even if they ain't got it. They're going to always have that exact dog available because they can see the money you're willing to spend. You want something specific that only they got, and you coming in because apparently they're your only option. Since all those factors into play, the breeder can easily sell you a dream. But if they don't have it, they will also sell you something that resembles it. So I tell you, whenever you reach out to a breeder, you always ask them what they have available, knowing already what you want, what you want to get yourself. Then you just have to cycle through the breeders that they tell you that they got available for you to determine which, one. which ones you want to do, or determine if the actual breeder they got is something you want. You may not want it. They may not have what you're looking for. Somebody else may got what you want, but maybe not that particular breeder. Good girl, let me see. Good girl, Chichi. Good girl, good girl. Mm -hmm. So you can save yourself a lot of headache and time from being screwed over by asking what's available instead of what you want. Fuck, mama. I'm only giving you this information because this happened to me a long time ago. I had ended up reaching out to a breeder and told him exactly what I was looking for. Good girl. I was calling him looking for a dog off a dog named Applejack. Now anybody that know pedigrees, they know about this dog. They know which dog I'm talking about. I was looking for a dog off of Applejack because I had seen the son of Applejack named Batman, and I liked him a whole lot. And I just wanted to mix that bloodline with the bloodline you see me working with right now. Good girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl. Good girl, girl Chi-Chi. And this is what he told me. He had just made that breed. Good girl. I go to his yard to pick up my puppy, and I chop it up with him for a little bit. Then I go to the yard and I see my puppy litter mixed with other puppies litter and they all about the exact same size. Except for maybe one because that litter was a little bit bigger than the rest of them. But they was all in the same damn pen together. So right then and there, I knew something was up. I just didn't want to acknowledge all the red flags because I was kind of new. Plus, I wanted something so specific because I saw something I liked in a certain animal and I wanted it so bad that I just wanted to believe it. Now he allowed me to choose which one I wanted because he was able to tell me straight to my face. These are the four or five puppies from your litter that you want that's available. Good girl, mama. Good girl, Chichi. Hey, mama. Good girl. Now I can tell you, from a man who done done a few amount of breeds myself, I would never mix different litters together. Why? They all look alike. At that age, they all look alike. Good girl, give me that, mama. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So with me knowing that, I just know better now. But I went on here and got the puppy I had wanted. I had asked him about the daddy, you know, where he was at, because he wasn't in the yard. The dude said and told me the daddy's at a different location at Central Heath, Central Earth, because he's too old to be outside. That turned out to be a damn lie. Come to find out that damn dog been dead long time ago, way before I even came to get my puppy. And at this time, it wasn't during the time of artificial simulation because it was too expensive to do back then. So I'm telling y'all, this is the reason why you don't never tell them what you want. You always ask them what they got available. From then, you can find out if you can still do business with them. That's also how you can save yourself a headache. All you gotta do is just ask a little bit differently about what you want. This is your boy Nick Lovin from K9 Proceeds, man. I'm gonna holler at you boys later. Peace out. Work, mama. Feed it, mama. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl, there we go. Thank you.